This week is a great week in comics here at EmpireCV.tv. And I'm going to plug something that's not even new this week, but something that a lot of you are going to want to get, something that a lot of you are going to want to know about with the movies that are coming out, the Thanos Rising that just hit. We've got the Avengers building up uh, to Guardians of the Galaxy and then the Avengers 2 where we're going to see presumably more Thanos and potentially uh, someone like this. Now, let's just say Warlock doesn't even appear uh, and you really wanted to know about Thanos. Well, this book is going to be chock full of Thanos. It's going to give you all of the stuff you need to know from his first appearance on and... Well, actually, it's not going to give you his first appearance, but it's going to give you most of the appearances right after that and really teach you a lot about the Marvel cosmic world and good old Starlin fun. So classic Warlock in essential format. They're only going for 20 bucks. You get 25 issues. These you cannot go wrong on. All right, we're still reeling from the... They, you, you guys have to know by now from the events that happened in Batman Inc. that's going into a new story here and he's doing what I was really hoped he was going to do at least it looks that way he's had one thing top the other last issue we had a one shot I thought he might go right into a brand new over the top story arc but in this one we get introduced to a character that I believe it's the first appearance for the 52 uh, in well, one main first appearance, one uh, who's going to be the villain in this new story arc, who I believe we've seen, we just haven't seen much about. Good old-fashioned uh, writing by him, but it's going to be nice and low-key, kind of set the pace before he builds up to something new. Can't have him keep trying to top himself, or he's going to run out of ideas. Always a good read. And another one that I've been enjoying, Ultron. This is the one shot for Ultron where we get introduced to uh, Ultron's son, who is also a runaway. We get a little more information on the things that brought about the Age of Ultron. Doesn't give us everything, but with all of these, we're starting to piece it together. They haven't given us much yet, but from the things that they've given us, every time I read a new issue of Age of Ultron, I just have more questions. So we'll see where they end up going with that. Saga, this one actually made a ripple today, and it's no different for me than any other issue of Saga. It's amazing. Great artwork, good designs, really brutal, really rough story. We open up with uh, King Robot the Fourth, and it's a King Robot the Fourth issue. So those of you who've been missing him, this is your turn. Colonize, this one was just a lot of fun. It's essentially Mars attacks, and they attack at the wrong time. They end up right in the middle of a zombie invasion, and things go desperately wrong. It's a really fun book, despite the zombies. And this is a cool John Byrne cover. Let's make sure I'm holding up the right one. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, good John Byrne cover. There's two covers, and it was a lot of fun. Invincible, because there hasn't been enough lately. Invincible has been selling crazy lately. Now we've got a universe. We've got all the characters. Before we had Guarding the Globe, now we've got a book where we can really profile and show you all the different characters within that universe. Aspen, no more just Soulfire, no more just uh, Fathom. Shrugged his back. Volume 2, the first issue was only a dollar. Now we're into the series. Ah, uh, now this is an interesting one. Uh, Valiant's come back. A lot of old guys have come back. And Comics Greatest World, that a lot of you will remember in the early 90s, that Dark Horse did. This is the first installment of those books again with X, and it's actually uh, drawn by a local, Eric. So check it out. He'll be here on Free Comic Book Day. You can bring your X down, have him sign it, check out some of his other works, and uh, just say hi to him. He's a really nice guy. Walking Dead, we don't really need to say much about that. A lot of people were disappointed in the TV show. I had a good time with it. I'm just glad it's continuing. More Wood, it's a sci-fi week. Uh, Constantine, it really kept a vertigo feel in the first issue. I don't want to ruin it. We have more on the shelf, but it's not lighthearted Constantine. They're not watering him down. He is still the man that you guys love. Issue number two comes out tomorrow. Uh, we're wrapping up. This long run on Green Lantern, Green Lantern Corps uh, by the guys coming to a head. It's an Avengers week. I mean, we got Ultimates, we got Avengers, we got Secret Avengers, Uncanny Avengers, and of course, the installment of Age of Ultron. And let's see if anything else pops out at me. Uncanny X-Men all, Bacalo, and uh, Bendis. This one should be more important to you, though, because it's Alan Davis doing... Uh, Wolverine, 
And what do we have coming up? We've got Free Comic Book Day, of course. That's all we really need to talk about. May 4th, we've also been updating our saver system. We're going completely digital. If you didn't get something in your box that you were supposed to, let us know. We can make sure we transferred it right. If you're getting stuff that you don't want, let us know. We'll take it off. And if you just want to check your saver to make sure it's good for all the future weeks when you're in, please let us know. We'll go over it and uh, make sure you're taken care of. Thank you very much. And don't forget, every Tuesday night, SCCG. And we're going to be doing a makeup for ECV Press Sketch-A-Day coming very soon. We'll give you more info on that.